The process doesn't happen overnight. Day after day, year after year, the bar is raised. I heard a saying one time, it's uh, iron sharpens iron. I kind of believe in it just because I like to try to be super competitive and just come to the rink every day and, and work hard. And I think our whole team does that really well. And I think that all of us are, are tough like that. Iron, it just helps us get better every single day. It is the effort of every player that is the force which pushes Penn State to new heights. And after some time, you take a look around, and it is Penn State who now belongs in the national spotlight, week in and week out. The staff has laid out the blueprint, and the players have, and always will, give everything they have for the glory of Old State. This week on The Hockey Story, we hit the books with the players as they take as much pride in the classroom as they do on the ice. And Penn State gets a jump in the second semester with January home weekends against Wisconsin and Ohio State. In central Pennsylvania, there is a school nestled in a great valley. On its storied campus, a gift unlike any other, a modern den for its lions to call home. Inside lives a team that has changed the complexion of the college hockey world. Its uniforms, like its mission, are simple and bold. Its fans, known for their passion and pride, have adopted this beautiful game played on a frozen sheet of ice as their own. Together, they have transformed this region, once known as Happy Valley, into Hockey Valley. This is their story. State Hockey Story. After three weeks away and riding an eight-game unbeaten streak, Penn State was eager to get back on the ice. And while the students were still away, the locals made sure that the building was full and the home ice advantage was just that. A big game in the Big Ten, but also a big game in the national rankings as number 14 Penn State hosted number 15 Wisconsin. This week of practice was good. It was. That being said, you guys haven't played in about four weeks, either of they. They haven't either. So not a lot that we can guarantee is gonna happen tonight, but one thing that you can count on is both teams are gonna make mistakes. I promise you, we're gonna make a lot of them, so are they. But I tell you what, the team that makes mistakes because they're aggressive and decisive. They decide quickly what they're doing and they're aggressive and they go, they've got a really good chance to win. Okay, let's start this thing off right. You guys have been doing a great job. Let's pick up where we left off and it all stays the same. Chase, your life starts. Let's go Betsy, you and T. Peyton, your game. Could Penn State pick up where they left off? The answer came early as the swarming Nittany Lions went on an early power play where two freshmen got the semester off to a beautiful start. Penn State gains control of it deep. Trevor Hamilton back to hold center point. He'll wind, fake the shot. Now Barrett in your circle. Snipes, score! Barrett, top shelf beauty! And on the other half of the ice, Peyton Jones was sharp all weekend, and the defense led to offense. Matishki a blast and it's turned away with the left hand by Jones. Stretch pass, Susie's behind the defense, breakaway, shoots, and scores! Susie's catches Wisconsin, changing! Penn State is the number one offensive show in the NCAA. Their attack is relentless. 
Ball sends it down left to right, back behind Barry. Sturge digs it free, centering Berger, shot, score! Susie's near wing gains the Badger zone, goes into the high slot, wheels four wings, shot, scores! A snipe from Susie's, his second of the game! Susie's completed the hat trick with an empty netter, and the Lions pounced on the Badgers 5 to 1 on Friday night. The staff knew Saturday would be a different story. And the message was simple. Be ready for the best from every opponent, every single shift for the rest of the season. The family festive atmosphere continued on night two in the stands, but on the ice, it seemed like the Badgers were out for vengeance. They upped their physical game, but the blue and white were not phased. Right in front, take your strike at it. Last year's hero, Liam Folks. Folks delighted his teammates and the town filled student section while Wisconsin looked for anything to give them a spark. Penn State ferociously trying to put it in. James Robinson. In the meantime, there's a scrum to the side of the goal in the far corner. Some old time hockey on this Saturday night. Avlachev back at the big Russian. Avlachev ahead, Marsh, two on one with Sternstein. Sternstein towards the net, gets the beat, fire, and scores! Top shell! There on Linhart. Long pass, a <laughs> range there for who else? Andrew Sturtz, now he winds and fires. Rebound front, it's Chase Berger! But Wisconsin had one surge left, and it would propel them all the way back, tying the game after two third-period goals. Two minutes to go. Sean Doogie has his shot, is blocked. Tischke shoots, scores! A laser! Peter Tischke with a minute 52 has tied it. Coach Godowski steadied the ship for extra time. See how these... Young student athletes deal with these emotions swinging back and forth in overtime. The emotion of overtime went from ecstasy to bewilderment as an apparent game winning goal was disallowed. A temporary dip in the roller coaster ride. And as the game went to a shootout, the extra point was still on the table. And the Lions were still hungry. Next stop in Hockey Valley, the shootout. Peyton Jones gets enough of it. Another chance for a Folks hero. Trying to drive the dagger in again. Liam Folks in on goal. Deep shoots. And the dagger is inserted. Folks scores again. Everybody get on your feet. That shot was a game. It was Peyton Jones' turn, and he would send the crowd home happy. They win. They get the extra point of the shootout and take five of six points this weekend. Every player did their part in front of a national television audience, and the first weekend of 2018 was a success. Natural disaster. Yeah. We learn about earthquakes and volcanoes and stuff, which is pretty cool. Breakaway to win the tournament. They do. Liam Folks. It's a really long walk. I don't know if you know what you're in for here. <laughs> yeah. He's tripling towards Jones. Kick to the net. Loose out front. Stone by Jones. A ridiculous save. They're following you around, too. No. It's, yeah. They're following, they're following you. you around. I'm just along for it. Yeah, I just, I just volunteered. When I first came here, I was blown away. Like, my dad was blown away. Like, I've never seen such a beautiful campus. It's got literally everything you could ask for. It's got tremendous character. It's got unbelievable academics, um, and obviously the athletics. 
Um, I'm, I was thinking about doing business, but I'm going to switch to communications and minor in business. And then I'm in the same boat as him. I'm getting a lot of FaceTime for everyone's looking at us. Yeah, I know. Malari just sent in our group saying, good thing the cameras are following our two academic stars to class. <laughs> <laughs> Break away! In goes Spirinoff, he digs, he dangles, fire, score! The academic support that every student athlete gets here at Penn State is phenomenal. They do a great job with what the, the, the resources that are provided for our student athletes are phenomenal. The earthquake and tsunamis in Fukushima, Japan, and how uh, they've never seen anything like that happen since, or before that time. What else do you like? Well, since California's coastline is uh, close to sea level, then it could be very damaging there. I'm actually impressed with your knowledge, folks. Yeah, I'm a smart guy. So, guys, How's it going? Let's go, bro. Just want to wish you good luck for your season, all right? Thank you. Total faith, all right? Thank you. Yeah, thank Big you. 10 championship repeat, all right? Oh, yeah, we will. <laughs> Snapchat takeover will be better than yours. Hi, I'm 26, sophomore forward. I'm Penn I'm State. 26. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Liam Folk, sophomore forward on the men's hockey team. And I'm going to be doing the. So the I'm going to be the Snapchat takeover. Okay. And I'm with Dennis Smirnov and Peyton Jones. Samuel, you know it's it's the support from from the fans. It's it's going to different sporting events. It's taking part in Thon. It's you know it's it's playing here at Pagula in front of in front of everyone. And and you know you, you can't beat that feeling at, at Pagula. It just makes you feel like you're you're part of something that's uh, more than you ever thought you could be. Wisconsin top 15 team last weekend. Notre Dame, number one in the country. Minnesota still to come in Ohio State. Fifth in the pairwise, six in the polls this week here at Pagula. Is this what the Big Ten's all about? Yeah, it's why people come here. It's why we came here. It's why the fans are so great and they're so excited for weekends like this. What kind of influence can the students have? Uh, they're a, a tremendous influence. Um, we're really excited to have them back. Uh, they're a big reason why we have such a good record here and a big reason for the success of this program. Coach Godowski and his staff know the main ingredient to success is our fans. One by one, the bond has been made by simply taking time out to let them know that we appreciate them. They are what makes Penn State a community, a family. So every time we hit the ice, we are stronger because of you. It's, I walk out of that tunnel every night and just looking up, I'm kind of get the goosebumps even talking about it right now. But I know that uh, I know I couldn't play in front of any other student section and feel the way that I feel when I walk out of that tunnel every night. Penn State faced the number five Buckeyes with the students back in town, and on Friday the players welcomed them home with some inspired play. Hamilton center point, who winded blast, missed the net. Out The collective scream the student section let all know how happy they were to be back. And the future Lions were just as thrilled. But Ohio State's offense was a huge threat. To slow them down, Penn State would throw caution to the wind and their bodies at the Buckeyes. 
comes three. Stussy's races forward. He has a two on one. Feeds Smeared off. Smeared off to the backhand. To Stussy's After weathering the Penn State crowd storm, the Buckeyes were harder to knock over. They found their footing and the back of the net. Hine to Weiss, slams it, Jones the save, Lasinski shot, Jones brawling, rebound score, yops from the near face-off circle, Jones made a great save, stacking the pads, but then Penn State all out of position, and Ohio State finally beats Jones to make it a 2-1 game. Brandon Byro blocked the Buckeyes, and then the Penn State power play put the Nittany Lions back up by two. Back center point, Holtz holds again. Holtz will fire off the end boards again. Side of the goal, played through the crease. Barrett scores! Evan Barrett at the back door. Power play goal. 3-1 Lions. Ohio State worked around the blocks and screened Jones, and Ohio State was back within one. And it's now 3-2 to two with 9.50 to go in the second period. You never know what play can change the game. A big save off a deflection or a two-way forward playing the role of a goalie. Stick through center. Bolts Penn State line. Pass near wing. High throws it out front. Tipped through the crease. Swatted out of the crease by Berger. Oh, baby. Blocking shots for the team and the fans, and then drawing a penalty with a nifty move. The table was set for Penn State to put away the high-powered Buckeyes with the flick of their wrist. Dig it free, goes Sturts, wrapping behind the goal out the near side. Barrett near point, walks the blue line. Barrett drifting, leaves it back, Sturts, high slot, Sturts. Sturts wheels top of the far circle, Sturts drags into the slot, fire, score! And it is! State, a 4-2 on a Sturts power play goal that leaks through Romeo and triples across the line. to cost it up center ice Barrett snaps it scores you brought the sunshine in my life just like a dream you came and made my day so fine I can see clearly through the clouds now you're mine you chased my rainy days away Just like an angel picked me up when I was dying You changed the colors of the clouds in the sky You tell me our love is here to stay It seemed that even before the second game of the weekend started, Penn State was down a man, as leading scorer Andrew Sturtz was ejected for a rare kneeing penalty. And the Buckeyes were out to win the last game of the regular season series, and with their hard work came the breaks, as even when they lost the puck, it ended up in the back of the net. Peyton Jones was solid, but it was the first time in a long time that Penn State was outplayed despite some bright plays. Gomez behind the goal, out the far side. He'll sling it on goal again, chop through the leg, score! Pat Oh, a night that will get Penn State's attention. Their 11-game unbeaten streak ends. Just 10 games left in the regular season.